I have never heard of Moving Mic before, but they recently asked me if I wanted to check out their new affordable dual wireless lav mic system, the Free Lav 2. Of course I said yes. Just to be clear, I have not been paid to make this video and they've been very open to let me give my honest feedback with the free review unit. The $140 kit comes with two transmitters, a dual channel receiver, two lav mics, some accessories and a carrying case. The housing units are made from a lightweight plastic material which keeps the weight down. They are powered by AA batteries which are not included, however. This is something I actually prefer since there's no proprietary battery pack or built-in battery, so you can easily swap them out at any point which also equals less e-waste. On the transmitter packs, you can change the channel, signal, strength, boost, and mic gain. On the receiver unit, you can change the input gain, channels, and headphone volumes. The screens are backlit, which is a nice touch. Uh, it's quite small, but it does the job nicely. If we take a closer look at the receiver unit, it features a locking output jack and a separate headphone monitoring port. There are two LED indicators to let you know which transmitter is connected. The second LED also glows red to let you know when the receiver battery is low. On the transmitter, there's a locking lav mic input, a separate 3.5mm port that allows you to connect other mics to it, for example a Rode Video Mic Pro or something. Interestingly though, both mic and the line input are active if they're both connected, so if you've got the live connectors and a other microphone, they're both, they both work at the same time. All units have a built-in belt clip, only differences on the receiver unit, which has an extra cold shoe and a quarter inch mount underneath. Here are some more technical specs if you are interested. The audio in this video comes from the LAV2 system, recorded directly into my X-T2. My room isn't treated in any way, so you might hear the fan noises uh, as they're quite noisy, so I'll just be quiet for one moment. With the lights turned off, I measured a practical noise floor of around minus 60 dB RMS. To be honest though, I find the Fuji X-T2 preamps quite noisy at anything above 3 out of 20 on the mic input. That itself is probably a contributing factor. And just for comparison, this is what the onboard mic sounds like. I'm about a, a meter and a half away from the camera. The mic is set to about 11 or 12 out of 20. In terms of wireless latency, I couldn't really notice anything major, although not scientifically proven. The advertised range on this system is 80 meters. In terms of battery life, I got between 10 to 12 hours on the receiver, whereas the transmitter lasted a bit longer, between 14 to 16 hours. Your mileage, of course, may vary depending on the distance and the battery types being used. So to wrap things up, there isn't a lot of bad things to say, keeping in mind the price especially. I'm a little bit concerned about the um, plastic build, especially around the uh, belt clip. Um, it feels like it could snap, but only time will tell after some more use. The second small little complaint is that the receiver combines the uh, both laugh channels and the output as one. It would have been nice if they separated the audio to the left and right channel uh, individually. Uh, also, I wouldn't mind if the output level was a little bit louder. Now onto the positives. The dual lav system is super handy, giving much greater flexibility without needing two receivers, which helps to keep the camera setup nice and minimal. I like the locking connectors, easily replaceable excellent battery life, the backlit display, headphone jack, and most importantly, the freedom of being wireless. I wasn't sure what to expect at first, but I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised considering the price of the whole package. I'll leave a link down below if you are interested in getting one and finding out what the latest price is etc. Okay, that's it for today's video. It's slightly longer but I hope you found it interesting or useful in some way. Uh, in any case, thank you very much for watching as always. My name is Joe and I'll see you in the next video.